Hello, and today I'm here reviewing Classic Tales of Vampires and Shapeshifters Sorry. by Miles Kelly, or well, she, or he, I didn't really pay attention. But anyway, this is the person who compiled all these stories. Familiar names are like Bram, Sto Bram Stoker, sorry, I'm trying to say two names at once. And, oh my god, there was another one that I had never read before. Lovecraft. That's who it was. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah. I never read him before at all. And, um, so this is like the first piece of work that I've, like, he has a piece in here. And, um, that was the first thing that I've read from him. And it was very, very creepy. Um, so, we'll get to the stars. First off, I absolutely love the cover. It's quite shiny, which grabbed my attention. And, um, I really thought that the cover said a lot, and it's a really beautiful book. And it's kind of color-coded. All of the sections have a different color. I don't think you can see it as well on, um, ah, yeah, right there. You can see it right there. But it is color coded um, for different areas. The inside is beautiful. There is illustrations every so many pages, and it's just gorgeous. Like, look at this. Well, not gorgeous, I suppose, but creepy, but very talented artwork in here. Let me find you one of my favorites. There was a favorite in here, and it was of a little. It was of a girl, but I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Um, just the way the artist, ah, here it is. Look at these. I really liked the, yeah. this one, and, but my favorite is that one. Isn't that beautiful? To me, that looks so good. Um, so I give this book five out of five stars. Um... I read the whole thing cover to cover because it really was intriguing. I liked the way it was set up and I liked how it was just like bits and pieces of um, stories in here and it really gets you intrigued and it also gives you a basic knowledge of classic vampire and shapeshifter mythology because in some cases we see a lot of like people twisting the vampire tale to their own um, use. They, you know, they turn it into their own thing. Kind of like Stephanie Meyer made her vampires sparkle in the sunlight and really the only way you can kill them is rip them up and burn them. But you see all the different sides of where these myths came from originally and how they were written about originally. And honestly, if you want to get as close to the old um, idea of vampires, like you really need to read Anne Rice's novels because those are the closest. They're actually bloodthirsty killers in that book. Um, but other than that, it's really super good for having as a reference book to different things. Um, I might go ahead and tell you like some of the... Uh, how these things are categorized. Um, the first one is In the Dark of Midnight. And um, then we have The Beast Within, Nameless Horror, Fatal Women. I love that one. That one was my absolute favorite. Um, the Captured Soul. It, it was really, really lovely. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely recommend picking this up. I got mine. Mine was a bargain book at Books a Million. So I think I only paid like 10 bucks for this. So it was really, really worth it to me. And it's excellent to have around. It's pretty thick. It was... It's almost 500 pages. Yeah. It's almost 500 pages. No, it is 500. It's like 515 pages. So, it's a pretty big, big book. 
and um, for busy moms and dads I think that this would be perfect because the story the stories themselves are actually quite short it's basically an anthology um, so you can squeeze them in at night time and things so that makes it a really good book in my opinion for busy moms and dads so check this out like comment and subscribe and to me I bought this also because it's leading up to the release of Anne Rice's new book um, Prince Lestat which I'm really really excited about I love Anne Rice love her I love her take on immortality and I love the way her vampires are actually bloodthirsty and I just love everything about them and her imagination is so ugh. I would love to just sit down and pick that woman's brains because I mean it is just absolutely amazing I really really love her work so anyway like comment and subscribe and the next book I will be reviewing is a fantasy novel called Summer and Bird, or Bird and Summer, one of the two. But it's very, very good so far. I'm about a quarter of the way through it.